The Create 3D Task process is similar to that of creating a 2D task. Simply navigate to the Tasks page, click on the plus icon, and select Create a New Task. Set the task name and add necessary classes in the constructor, and then select a prepared archive with the data. The archive must have a certain structure. For more information, see the documentation. You'll find a link in the video description. No additional settings are required for 3D tasks, so you can press Submit and Open right away to create the task and go to it immediately. When the task page opens, go directly to the job to start annotation. For 3D tasks, the main canvas used for annotation is divided into several windows. The largest window contains the overall 3D scene with a free camera, and below there are three more windows, each with three different views, top, side, and front. There are also several additional windows on the side that will display contextual images related to the current 3D scene. You can close each window with contextual images on the right. With the Fit Views button, you can stretch the windows to fill the entire canvas. Use the Plus button next to the Fit Views button to add contextual images. To change the contextual image, hover over any contextual image window and click on the gear icon. Each window can be moved within the canvas and also expanded to fill the entire canvas. To return to the original window configuration, click Reload Layout at the top. Let's start the annotation process. You need to locate the object on the general 3D scene with a free camera. To move around the scene, you can use the mouse. The left mouse button changes the camera angle, and the right mouse button moves the camera up, down, left, and right. You can also use the keyboard keys to move the camera. Hold the Alt button and use U for down, I for forward, O for up, J for left, K for back, and L for right. To change the camera angle using the keyboard, hold down the shift button and use the arrow keys. After finding the object on the 3D scene, you can create a cuboid. To do this, on the toolbar, select the icon in the form of a cube, and then select the desired label and click Shape. You can set the exact dimensions of the cuboid using other perspectives and edit it like a regular bounding box. You'll find these other perspectives in the windows under the large window. You can change the angle of rotation of the box in each of the planes. Hover over the green dot above the box and then, holding down the left mouse button, move the mouse left, right, up, or down. Let's check how the annotated cuboid looks in the 3D scene. You can also make copies of the cuboids. Right click on the previously created cuboid and select dot 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 and then choose make a copy from the drop down menu. Or use control C and control V. After that, an exact copy of the object will appear. It will also be attached to the mouse cursor. To place this cuboid on another object, Use a double click. Now you can edit it. In addition to copying, you can use propagation. To do this, right click on the previously created cuboid, select dot dot dot, and then choose propagate from the drop down menu. Or use control B. Specify the number of copies and click yes. Move to the next frame and you'll see that it includes a cuboid that was propagated from the previous frame. It only needs to be edited a little bit. Interpolation of annotation is also available for 3D tasks. On the left hand side of the toolbar, select the object type cuboid and then select track. Annotate the cuboid as usual.
Go ahead several frames and adjust the cuboid. Now, go back to the initial frame and check the result. Save the task and export the results of the annotation. For export, you can use formats such as Datumaro 3D, Kitty Raw format, and Sly Point Cloud format. For example, let's select Kitty Raw format and click OK. Once the archive is downloaded, you can open it and check its contents.